Did you know that 45% of Fortune 500 companies had CEOs who were previously QOs? It's time to explore the exciting world of QOs and CEOs. In this video, we'll dive into the differences, similarities, and career paths of these two executive roles. Welcome to our deep dive into CEO and CEO roles. Whether you're an aspiring executive or just curious about the corporate world, this video is for you. We'll discuss the key differences between these roles, their responsibilities, benefits, challenges, and tips for aspiring executives. Plus, we'll share some interesting case studies and frequently asked questions. So grab a cup of coffee and let's get started. First, let's look at the primary responsibilities of CEOs and CEOs. The CEO is responsible for setting the company's vision, strategy, and overall direction. They lead the charge in making high-level decisions and are the public face of the company. On the other hand, the COO focuses on implementing the CEO's strategy, overseeing daily operations, and managing the company's resources to achieve its objectives. Now, what sets these two roles apart and how do they overlap? While the CEO is primarily responsible for setting the company's vision, the COO is the one who makes it happen. But they often work closely together in decision-making and strategic planning. The COO typically reports directly to the CEO, and together, they form a powerful leadership duo. If you're considering a career as a COO or CEO, it's essential to understand the factors that may influence your decision. These include industry trends, organizational size and complexity, and your personal strengths and career goals. For example, in a tech startup, the CEO and CEO roles might be more fluid than in a well-established corporation. Both roles come with their share of benefits and challenges. As a CEO, you have more visibility and influence, but you also face the pressure of managing expectations and maintaining work-life balance. For coups, the hands-on operational management can be rewarding, but navigating ambiguity and fostering cross-functional relationships can be challenging. Are you an aspiring CEO or CEO? Here are three tips to help you reach your goals. Network and build relationships within your industry. Develop relevant skills and expertise, such as strategic thinking or operational management. Demonstrate your leadership potential and strategic thinking by taking on high-profile projects and sharing your ideas with senior management. Let's explore some real-life examples. Did you know that Tim Cook transitioned from COO to CEO at Apple after Steve Jobs' resignation? And how about the successful partnership between Mark Zuckerberg and Sheryl Sandberg at Facebook? These case studies illustrate the importance of collaboration between CEOs and CEOs for the success of a company. Time for some FAQs. We often get asked if a COO can become a CEO. The answer is yes. Many QOs have successfully transitioned to CEO roles. Another common question is how the roles differ in a startup compared to an established organization. In a startup, the roles can be more fluid, whereas in larger organizations, the roles are more distinct and specialized. In conclusion, understanding the nuances between CEO and CEO roles is crucial for professionals looking to advance their careers in executive leadership. Both positions play a critical role in an organization's success, and aspiring executives should assess their skills, goals, and preferences to choose the right executive position for their career.